Let's see how we can differentiate x squared plus 4x plus 3 over square root of x. And you know we are going to use the power rule, but not now. Because you see, x squared right here is actually affected by this right here, the square root of x on the bottom. In fact, we have to do algebra first to simplify the powers before we can use the power rule for the derivative. So check this out. Firstly, take a look at the square root. That's the same as 1 half power. And the other thing is that because we only have one term on the bottom, we get to split the fraction. So I'm going to rewrite y as x squared over this is, which is x to the 1 half power, like I said earlier. And then we'll do the same thing for the next one. We add 4x over x to the 1 half power. And lastly, we still have that 3 over x to the 1 half power. And then we are going to subtract the exponents. So let's see y is equal to. For this term, we will get x 2 minus 1 half, we will get 3 half, and that's positive, so just like this. Next, this is the same as x to the first power. We have the 4, so let me write here as plus 4. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, so we have x to the 1 half power, and again, that's positive. Lastly, we have the 3, so we add the 3, and then we have no, no x here. So we just have x to the 1 half on the bottom. We will just bring this up, which will give us x to the negative 1 half power. All right, now we can do the power rule for each term. So let me write down y prime for the derivative. For the first term, we will bring the power to the front and then minus 1, and we will get 3 over 2 x to the 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 half. So we have that. Next, bring this to the front and then minus 1. 1 half times 4 is 2. And then we have x to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. Lastly, put the negative 1 half to the front and then minus 1. 3 times negative 1 half is negative 3 over 2. And then negative 1 half minus 1 will give us negative 3 over 2. So that's pretty much it. However, if you look at the answer in the back of the book, this is what they did. They did write it back in the square root form for this particular question. So let me show you guys how we can do that. All right, so this is 3 over 2, and then x to the 1 half power. 1 half power is the same as the square root, and then we have the x, all right? Next, we have the plus 2 over. And the reason that we do over is because this is a negative power. So we bring this down to the denominator, and then the 1 half power is the same as the square root, and we have the x. So this is the same as that. Lastly, we have the minus 3 over 2, and then this is technically x to the negative 3 over 2 power, and we bring that down on the bottom. So we are going to get x to the... We, we, we are going to get this, uh, square root of right, because this is the square, and then we have x to the third power. But for this, we can simplify it, and we can take out an x, right, so this is the same as x square root of x, all right? So when we take this and put it down on the bottom, that's what they have. So I will give you guys x square root of x like that as well. So either this or that.